I don't know about you, but lately I've experienced somewhat of a massive phone addiction. I noticed I was on my screen constantly throughout the day, just unconsciously. Every time Jake would hop on a phone call or we'd be together and he'd be, you know, distracted by his phone or like talking to someone for business, I would hop on my phone. Every single time I felt bored or I didn't have anything to do for a moment, I would hop on my Instagram and go through my newsfeed. Becoming addicted to our screens is something that's taking over our entire collective consciousness. Screen time has become an addiction for social media, for media on the news, you know, video games. You name it, there is a desire and an addiction to it in the world. We have iPads, we have iPhones, we have computers, we have laptops. You know, screens are everywhere. And our desire and our ability to divert our energy has become that much more prominent in our life. And I wanted to bring conversation to that because it really started taking over my day, my energy and depleting me in more ways than one. So maybe this is something you're dealing with in your life. And if it is, I wanna share with you the techniques that I used to start bringing more balance and more intention with intention within my screen time. It really empowered me to take more responsibility in my life for this addiction happening and gave me the tools to be able to let go of this addiction in a really easy way. So I just wanted to share those with you because you definitely know somebody in your life, whether it's you, whether it's your kid, whether it's a friend who's addicted to their phone. And let's chat about how we cannot be addicted. with our screen time is super easy to have. You know, when we think of addiction, we think of substance addiction, we think of alcohol, we think of drugs, we think of food, we think of porn, we think of shopping, internet shopping, you name it. But rarely do we have a conversation about a true addiction that's happening to nine out of 10 people in America. This screen addiction has taken over, you know, homes, it's taken over personal lives, and it is a energy drain. I don't know if you noticed this, but the more you're on your phone, the more you're looking at a screen, the more it's draining vital energy from your life. This vital energy is, is promoted, it's inspired through good sleep at night, you know, positive exchanges with other human beings, uh, good few food and fueling yourself with good food. You know, it's being drained. In every single moment you're spending unconsciously on your phone or scrolling social media or on Facebook or whatever you're doing. And that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But if that's happening to you, you really need to start taking a step back and making changes in your life. Because we truly, we only have one life to live. Whether it's 50 years, whether it's 60, whether it's 100 years, we have this one life to be present and to be available to the experience that's happening around us. If we're diverting our energy constantly to our phone, not only are we not living to our potential, but we are distracting ourselves from experiencing like truly the presence of our life and our life is a present we need to treat that with respect and i re i recognize and acknowledge that i started having an issue with my phone i was on my phone when i woke up in the morning when i couldn't sleep at night i would go grab my phone when jake was sleeping next to me and scroll and do whatever i was doing until wee hours of the morning until i got tired those are the unhealthy habits that are draining our vital energy they're taking away from us the presence of our own life the gift of our life and they're diverting it to something that's truly in a sense non-existent so let's talk about step number one to how i was able to end this addiction in my life and maybe something you can start incorporating in your own life Number one, I started acknowledging the times that were trigger points for me. So I kind of touched on it just barely, but a trigger point was when I woke up in the morning. You know, I would kind of scroll through my feed, check my emails, whatever it was, and I would immediately start my morning by looking and giving my energy to something else. It wasn't to empowering me, it wasn't to creating a healthy habit, it was to, you know, kind of drain it down the drain with, with what's happening on my Instagram feed it was late at night or it was just in random areas of my life where I was feeling bored into my day and I would just scroll. So acknowledging those times that are trigger points in your life. They could be completely different from mine, they could be the same, but start recognizing when you're going to divert your energy. Is it when you feel uncomfortable in a social setting? Is it when you're 
boyfriend's not paying attention to you and you want something to do? Is it when you feel lonely and you want to feel connected? Start understanding and acknowledging the different times in your life that you look to divert your energy to this little phone and this little screen. That's really going to empower you to have the awareness to start making those shifts, to start building and developing habits that, and making a commitment to instead of grabbing for your phone, grab for something else. Start, you know, bring a book with you and read, have your journal with you and journal, um, you know, do something creative or simply bring awareness to your breath. Could you imagine if every single time you went to grab your cell phone, you instead acknowledged your breath and got really, really present with your breath? That would change your entire life. Cause I guarantee you there's multiple times you're grabbing your phone unconsciously a day. And if you brought awareness towards those moments and you just took a breath, it would literally change everything. So the number two thing that I started to implement into my daily practice was this incredible, I, okay, so I have an iPhone and with the iPhone update, I updated my phone and I'm gonna show you right now, but through the settings, um, if you have an updated iPhone, it says screen time right here. So this is in your settings on your phone. You can click screen time and it can, it literally shows you on a daily basis, minute by minute, where you're spending your time on your screen. It shows you how much time you're spending in social media. It shows you how much time you're spending in photos or on emails. It is absolutely amazing because it really brings awareness towards how much time you're truly spending on your phone. I recommend, um, you know, you can download an app. I'll, if you don't have an iPhone or you don't have a new iPhone, I'll share a few like links or a few tools for you to be able to have this on your phone, regardless of if you have an iPhone, but just start being aware. Start checking in to how much time you're truly spending on it. And I guarantee you're going to be shocked because oftentimes we're on our phone for 10, we're on our phone for like 45 minutes and it feels like 10 minutes. So really bringing awareness and drawing your attention towards how much time you don't even realize you're spending on there will kick you in the face. It'll be like, holy crap. For me, I was like, damn, I'm like spending like an hour plus on Instagram scrolling stupid shit. Like not that your shit's stupid, but like just doing stuff I don't need to be doing like scrolling on the internet, like I don't need to be doing that at all times of the day. I need to be living, I need to be present in my day and start stimulating my life from you know living it rather than living it through here. So becoming aware of how much time you're truly spending on your apps, on your phone, is just going to empower you to realize that you really need to make a change in your life. And when you need to make a change through these apps that I'm gonna provide below that you know allow you to see your screen time, or if you do have the new iPhone, checking out all these things, it also gives you the opportunity to set two things, which I've started implementing that I wanna share with you. Downtime and app limits. So for me, the only app I really spend a lot of time on is Instagram. That's the only one I really have a huge issue with, of course. I mean, I think a lot of us do, Facebook, whatever it is. So I set an app limit to my Instagram. I am not allowed to go over the 15 minute point on any social media for my entire day. That allows you to, you have a literal limit. So my, my Instagram will literally stop working after the 15 minutes. It'll say, you've reached your limit for the day. You're not allowed to use it anymore. And then I just put it down and I don't use it for the rest of the, the day. It really, oh man, it changes everything because when you are scrolling, when you are showing up to be on Instagram or these apps you're really, really you know, addicted to, you're showing up with much more intention. I know that I only have 15 minutes a day to show up on my Instagram, to make a post, to scroll whatever I wanna to scroll, to post a little bit in my story. So it's much more intentional. So in my number two, setting app limits allows you to have more intention with how you're showing up to your screen time. It gives you the awareness and the opportunity to keep track for you of when you need to get off of it. And that takes, you know, your having to implement that in your own life on your own. And it gives it to this, this source, this, you know, iPhone update, this app limit that's doing it for you. And it really just X's you. When you're done, you're done. Number three is my favorite thing that I've been able to do on my technique for, you know, stepping away from my phone. And that is setting my downtime. 
So in step number one, we acknowledged the different trigger points we had. If it's waking up and getting on your phone in the morning, if it's on your phone at night, you can take care of those trigger points through setting downtime on your phone. If you have the new iPhone, you on the new iPhone, it says literally right here, I'm in that area. I don't know if you can see it, it says downtime. So if you click downtime, it shows that my downtime right here is on and it starts at 8 p.m. and it goes to 7 a.m. So my phone literally doesn't work from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. or whatever it is. And all of my apps turn off. I can text if I want to, I can call people obviously if it's an emergency, but my phone shuts down. It's my downtime, it's my sleep time. So I'm not grabbing for my phone. It's taking care of it for me. I know that my phone's off limits. I'm spending a lot more time present with my husband, um, enjoying my time with him. When I'm with friends, I'm fully there. I'm not texting, I'm not checking on anything. It's really offering the opportunity in my life and maybe this is what you need in yours. To be more present is the greatest gift of all time. And there's nothing that diverts your energy more than just zoning out on a screen and not even paying attention to what's happening around you. Accidents happen that way. Maybe you have a really big issue with texting and driving. That's a huge no-no. I really want you to like be safe. Don't do that. Please like take this as your sign that you should stop texting and driving because it is dangerous. But like I said, if you have issues like that, this downtime on your app will bring more awareness towards just being done for the day. And being done for the day allows you to refuel that vital energy we were talking about. It allows you to just bring it back into your life that much more powerfully when you're not diverting your energy here. And it just is a way of amplifying that. And you're bringing more in and you're letting less out through this diversion. So setting that downtime on my phone was an incredible way of not hopping on my phone late at night when it was one of my trigger points. And you know, dedicating an hour, two hours to this phone time while Jake was sleeping next to me. I'm getting a lot better rest. I'm not as, I, I don't have that option of getting on my phone. So I know that it's time to sleep no matter what. It just really shifts you from being dependent on this outer source to taking more presence in your life, taking more responsibility to go to sleep, to you know, wake up feeling energized, not divert your energy immediately towards your phone and start doing more healthy habits that are going to empower you rather than disempower you. If having this phone addiction, this screen time addiction is a part of your life right now, or it's a part of your kid's life or somebody else's life, start incorporating, start implementing these techniques that I shared with you. They've changed my life completely. I have so much more presence in what I'm doing. I have so much more intention with how I'm showing up to this phone and into this experience right here. And that feels incredible. I am so grateful that I found this application, the setting on my phone to be able to do this because it's offering my life so much more freedom from being and escaping here. So if you're feeling uncomfortable, you're diverting your energy for whatever reason it is, start asking why, start showing up to a healthier habit and your life will be so much more empowered and you will be so much more energized. My name is Ashley Ducey and I really want to share things with you that are going to just it refuel you and empower your life in the most beautiful ways and getting off of your screen time is, is something that's going to attribute to that, contribute to that. So I hope that this video really helped for you and I'm excited to see you on the next video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If this type of conversation is something that you're looking for in your life to have more of, please subscribe to my channel, press that little subscribe button, press that bell notification, get alerted every single time I post a video because all of my videos are dedicated towards conversations just like this, centered around good, centered around your alignment with feeling well, feeling greatness, feeling empowered in your life. My name is Ashley Ducey with AshleyDucey.com and I am so looking forward to seeing you on the next video.